no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net the irony of the Republican National Convention taking place in the middle of a hurricane is too jaw-dropping to ignore. You've got this puppet show consisting of a cast of drown your fellow man in a pool of their own blood, sweat, and tears just to steal ten cents from his retirement fund clowns, er, job creators, preaching to the nation about how tough their parents had it. Can we set a rule that if the didn't happen to you, you can't take credit for it? My grandfather worked in a coal mine all his life, and therefore you should somehow feel I'm a hard worker. Yeah, well my grandfather lost all his money investing in a scheme to raise the Titanic using ping pong balls. That doesn't make me a explorer or a ping pong player. Then they proceed to tell us the nation needs to get back to whiter times. It's funny, they say simpler, but I hear whiter. I hear whiter. And they can claim calling racism is unfair, but as long as they continue to create a new Jim Crow in which people of color are either imprisoned or knocked off the voting rolls, then they'll just need to accept that it's still the Republican Party. So they've got this lame puppet show, and I call it lame because puppet shows usually have puppets of many different colors, but not this one. So they've got this lame puppet show, which wouldn't mention climate change even if there were a hurricane tickling their And here they are, with a hurricane tickling their and a report yesterday that Arctic sea ice is at the lowest levels ever. And I realized there were hurricanes before climate change began, but they're getting more prevalent, just like tornadoes, just like floods, just like drought, just like penguins trying to look natural in Bermuda shorts. Listen, you can drink pina coladas and wear sunglasses all day long, but we still know you're not supposed to be here. And some evangelicals say that hurricanes are God's way of punishing areas that have too many gay people. Well, GOP, is there something you'd like to tell us? Luckily, I don't believe in that bull I believe the only punishment for places with gay people is a flood of parades. The larger question is how long can the GOP pretend that climate change and matricide on Mother Earth isn't happening? And how long can the Democrats turn their backs to the problem so that they can continue to suckle from the oil industry teat? About a year ago, I asked whether it would get to the point that politicians were campaigning from rooftop to rooftop in flooded areas, handing out snorkels with their campaign slogans on them. Well, here we are, with a hurricane staring a presidential con convention in the face, and still no one says anything. Not the Republicans, not the Democrats, neither side of this bull two-party system. In a way, you start to respect the Republicans. At least they have the courage to lie to themselves and deny it's even happening. Plus, they probably view our rape of the planet as only an illegitimate rape. That's your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you get a chance, check out the Moment of Clarity book, which is the transcripts from 90 episodes of MOC, along with photos from the front lines of this shit show. You can get the hard copy of the ebook at pretty much any website where books are sold, and the ebook is only like $6. Kind of offensive that it's that cheap. That's like less than a Jamba Juice. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.